Show me that you're human, you won't break Like a thief I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Um, I think Mary Jane Seacole inspired me to be a doctor. I want to be a dancer. And what's inspired you to become a dancer? Um, my dance teacher, um, Miss Tina. And what would be your dream for the future? Um, to be like on television or be on a stage and be a dancer. What would you like to be when you grow up? Cricketer. Well, how come you've decided to be a cricketer? What's inspired you? My brother and my dad have really like helped me a lot and we've even got this thing like a practice thing that I use every day in the morning. I want to be a video games graphic designer because because I've read about Ada Lovelace. She she was the person who did the groundwork for developing the computer. Without her we wouldn't have the computers that we have now. And if I don't get to be a video game graphic designer I want to be be in the army and the person who inspired me to do that was Boudicca. And what would you like to be when you grow up? An architect. And how come you want to be an architect? What's inspired you? Because um, all the buildings that architects make. And is there any building in particular that you like? The walkie-talkie. I want to be an armed policeman so less people get murdered and hurt when they're older. And what do you want to be when you grow up, Tom? An inventor. Have you got anything that you wanted to invent? Yeah. What's that? A train. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A vet. A vet. And what's inspired you to become a vet? An um, animal, because I just love animals. I'd like to be a nurse. And what's inspired you to become a nurse? My sister, because she's training to be one at the minute. What do you want to be when you grow up, Poppy? A science teacher. A science teacher, wow. And what's inspired you to become a science teacher? My daddy. Do you want to be when you grow up, Ben? Um, a zookeeper. What's inspired you to become a zookeeper? But my mum went to a zoo last time and the penguin was gone. Oh. Um, well, my mum and I have inspired me to be a doctor because um, I used to get really worried about my brother because sometimes I thought he would choke when really just coughing. Um, told me what to do if he is uh, When I asked my class what they wanted to be when they grew up, they answered freely without any awareness of gender stereotype, without any uh, expectation that anything could stand in the way, and that's what I want for their future, for them to always have that to be whatever they want to be without anything stopping them. Quite a lot of the, the boys will now open up a bit more about what they want to do whereas before sometimes they would hold themselves back from saying what they wanted to do um, but if you had a one-to-one -one conversation with them they'd happily tell you that they wanted to be a nurse or they wanted to go into medicine or they want to be dancers quite a lot of them um, so that's quite nice to see now and that they're quite open about saying things like that The book, the book I brought in today is called Girls Are Best, and it's inspirational because I can look at all, I can look at amazing women in history, in the back that says, if you don't agree with something you've read, write a book of your own. And is that something that you want to do? Yeah. And what is it that you wanted to show us today? Um, my, my book about women who changed the world. Wow. And what what happens in that book? Um, like women who change the world, the world and make get girls to be equal and don't and let you and let girls say things that they want to say in future. We nominated Kay Burley because she's basically she's just never gave up. She showed the determination and. What she's done is she's showed that that male job any female can do. Um, my class nominated Marjorie Beers because it just shows that anyone can be that anyone can be a spy anywhere because she worked as a spy in World War Two and before that she was an opera singer. Is there anyone that's inspirational apart from your daddy? The Queen, wow, and why is the Queen inspirational? Because she rules Lincoln. 
And is your mum inspirational to you? Yes, because like she comes from a different country, but she learned to speak English as well. And like now, she that's not her original language. She actually is. She she's from Ukraine in English. She just learned it, and it's like very inspirational. And like like, how does she do it? That's sometimes, and it kind of makes me feel like, well, if she can do it, so can I. Is there anybody inspirational to you? J.K. Rowling, because well, she just stu stood up to it, to to her fears of well, of of people saying, well, you're not gonna. Well, 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 you're not going to be an inspiration, but she is. And is there anyone in your life that's inspirational? Well, I've got two. Yeah? Probably my dad, because, well, he's very caring and he's very passionate. And he's a dad, she my year four teacher. Because he's, well, <coughs> he's a very new teacher to the school and he's made such a good effort. Um, we nominated Je um, Jennifer Meadows um, because she's an inspirational athlete and she's had lots of interviews with loads of people talking about why she, why people shouldn't um, take drugs and things like that and she's been really inspirational to loads of young children and because this school is a very sporty school, um, it's very inspirational for all the school. And you nominated Jenny Meadows as your inspirational woman. Yeah. Why did you pick Jenny Meadows? Because she's stood up to performance enhancing drugs and and it, I just feel proud of her that she's not took any performance enhancing drugs to make her better because she's already good enough as she is. Who did you choose for your inspirational woman? Jenny Meadows. And why did you choose Jenny? Because she's very proud to be she's very, she's very proud to be coming from Wigan and she's like she's very like inspirational to all of us. And is there anything that you'd like to see changing for men or women in the um, future? I'd like to see uh, more men doing dancing and not just thinking it's a girl's sport and just thinking, well, I can try this. I wanted to make the women's team better than the men's team. Um, I would like to see in the future like more opportunities for women and, like, and men too. Is there anything that you'd like to see changing for the children in the future? Yeah, I think a lot of parents enforce gender stereotypes on children. Um, quite often with after school activities, it's more of the boys who take part in the sport and the girls who take part in things like dance. So we've been trying to break down gender stereotypes by, in PE we looked at dance and we looked at how uh, males can also be ballerinas and that's strong and powerful, just like the footballers. What would you like to see changing for young people of today, for the future? Um, I think it'd be really good if the women of the future, the young girls that we're teaching here at Woodfield now, in the future they have the ambition and the opportunity to take on really high profile jobs. Um, obviously in the past it's not quite not been quite as easy. I think we're starting to see more change now but there's still some way to go for them to be able to have that ambition when they're younger to become um, prominent figures in the community and in the, in the country and in the world. I'd just be really proud from a teacher's point of view if I could look in the future and see that all of my pupils are enjoying careers that really build on the skills and their interests and their talents regardless of their gender. So my boys enjoying dance and the arts, my girls enjoying engineering and mechanics and things like that. I'd just like to be safe in the knowledge that all of my children are pursuing something that they are passionate about. If you feel like you, if you feel like you're the best you can be, you can always do better. Like just don't give up and carry on going. And have you got any messages that you'd like to say to anyone else that might want to become a scientist? Yeah. What would you like to say? You are brilliant. And have you got any messages that you'd like to say to your mum or nan? I'm really thankful that you've 
me decide what I want to be because it thought it would take me a really long time to decide. Happy International Women's Day!